Sydney co-founder of Evo Hemp. And uh, so what, what do you got here, Rob? Uh, we got uh, organic nutrition bars. So it's just a raw fruit and nut bar. It's got fruits, nuts, and hemp seeds in there for protein and fiber and a good source of omega-3 fats as well. Uh, we got the Colorado-grown hemp hearts, uh, protein powder, and the uh, oils as well. And uh, so what what is this event that we're at right now? We're at the Hemp Expo here at the Rayburn and uh, Capitol Hill. And, um, and where are you from? Uh, Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. And so um, why did you come? Uh, you know, we're here today to uh, speak with a bunch of uh, members of Congress and their staff to uh, get some hemp legislation uh, passed in the state. Now what does hemp have to do with water? Uh, you know, hemp is a, it's a great partner for, you know, water advocates. Uh, it uses a fraction of the amount of water that a lot of the other crops do. Uh, you know, I want to say about a sixth of the amount of water that, you know, cotton uses. Uh, uses less than corn, uh, even wheat. Uh, you know, it's, you know, it doesn't need pesticides or herbicides to grow. Uh, so it keeps your water clean after it's been used. There's not going to be any uh, runoff of any chemicals. Uh, it's a very clean and sustainable plant. Okay. Now, what are the, some of the biggest issues facing hemp growers in the U.S.? Uh, well, right now, the hemp is still uh, federally illegal to grow on a commercial scale. Uh, there are some states, a handful of them, that have gone ahead and passed their own legislation. Uh, so we're, we're here to get a final, you know, a strong federal hemp law passed and make it open to all states. Now, is this for hemp that one would take into one's body through various mechanisms, or is this for other uses? Uh, you know, this is for uh, food production, it's for clothing, uh, excellent source of, uh, you know, building materials. You, you can make, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, oil-based products you can make out of hemp, whether it be plastic or, you know, something that you're going to uh, put on your deck to give a protective coating. Now, now, both Colorado and Washington, D.C. have legalized marijuana for particular uses. Now, what's... Has that tied in at all with the, the acceptance for hemp-related legislation? Uh, you know, it definitely sped up the process. Uh, you know, the, it started in Colorado when they passed the medical marijuana bills. Well, at the very end of that bill, there was a small little sentence that says, oh, and you can also grow hemp. So it, it's definitely sped up the process. So as just an average Joe citizen, I mean, you're not a professional lobbyist, you're not working for a, you know, an organization that, that deals with the congressional issues. Um, what first got you involved with going to Congress and, uh, and, and what's your experience been like in Congress? Yeah, you know, uh, we're, we're big advocates for the American farmer. Uh, it, it's, it's been a tough couple of decades for the American farmer. Uh, you know, the, the water supply has been very limited. The, you know, the cost of food continues to drop, uh, so their incomes are dropping. Uh, the average age of the American farmer is going up. Uh, you know, it's tough to convince their kids, their families want to join and, you know, keep continuing on with the family business, but it's not, you know, economically viable uh, to stay on the farm. And so, you know, we've, we've been really big advocates, hemp, you know, about four times the amount of income uh, for our hemp farmers than, say, if they were to go grow corn or wheat. Uh, so it, it's much easier for them to sustain their family business. Uh, they're using less water, so it's, it's less cost. They're not using any pesticides or herbicides. So it's a much more profitable crop for them to grow. Uh, unfortunately, most of them can't legally grow it. Uh, it's uh, pretty ridiculous. And so we're here to kind of change that and you know, really help the family farmers. Have, have you been to Congress before? How many how many trips have you taken to, to U.S. Congress? Uh, this, this is my first time. This is your first time. First time. How does it compare with what you usually see on TV? Uh, it, it's a little bit more down to earth and friendly. Very nice. Very nice. What, what's been your biggest surprise in, in coming to, to Capitol Hill? Uh, I, I would say just the uh, the general knowledge and acceptance of you know of hemp in general. Uh, people you know willing to try the hemp products and you know kind of understand the differences between hemp and you know its its medical cousin. Thank you very much. And, and what's what's your biggest say? What would you tell uh, average Joe citizen 
who's interested in issues on Capitol Hill, is thinking about coming to, to, to Congress? Uh, you know, don't be afraid, and uh, change does and can happen. Thank you very much.